Hello everyone, welcome to Cyber War. Just a quick video on the latest news. Uh, ChatGPT launched plugins. And well, they announced plugins. You have a waiting list. You have a wait list to be able to, to join. I applied, but it's not instant. Why is this important? Well, it kind of changes the game completely. Like all these ChatGPT clones and other tools developed around it will not make much sense unless it's a really good execution because now basically ChatGPT became an app store. It's like the app store at, at Apple. It's like the Google Play, like all the other app stores, the Microsoft one. So it already announced... Uh, some plugins with some major companies and uh, like it, it launched a plugin with Zapier which has 5000 apps it has a plugin that can search the, the net it can retrieve um, things from the internet so it's basically game over uh, this is the new reality we live in this is a very important moment in the history of the internet and um, I just wanted to make this video let me try to play this a bit ChatGPT with browsing allows the model to research real-time information mm -hmm. beyond its trading data let's see how ChatGPT with browsing can help us catch up on current events So here they are using the browsing plugin. It's basically the one in Bing. ChatGPT with browsing uses the Bing API to search and it uses a text-based web browser to go beyond just search results to actually navigate websites. It can synthesize information found across multiple sources to give us a more grounded response. Click the citation to go ChatGPT. So they they basically integrated the one in Edge Dev here to this plugin, but they have a bunch of other things, plugins and everything. It can do calculations with uh, Wolfram Alpha. It can do I don't know math. And it also can do like a combination, can use a combination of plugins and you can make like a manifest file for what to use. No, sorry, no. No, this is the manifest file for the, for a new plugin, if you were to, to make one. You can use APIs. Let's try another demo here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to do some simple meal planning. First, let's head to the plugin store to install the necessary plugins. So, they install the plugins like on the App Store. Next, let's ask ChatGPT for a restaurant recommendation on Saturday, a recipe for Sunday, the total calorie count, and to order the ingredients on Instacart. So it's using OpenTable for the for booking it. It's using uh, Wolfram Alpha for the calories and the uh, Instacart to buy the steaks for the recipe. First, using OpenTable to find me a great restaurant for Saturday. Finding me a simple recipe, but to calculate the calories. Okay, we're gonna scroll to this. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. The link. You can look yourself at everything. And now they're opening this for everybody to contribute, like you're making an app for Play Store, so be ready for this to explode. I'm gonna put a link for the waitlist in the description. I'm not sure how this is gonna work if you're a subscriber for Plus or if it's only for GPT-4 or what is it, but I guess they'll let us know soon. And we still need to remember they owe us that release where we can use the images, remember? When they launched the GPT-4, the press conference said that you can upload the 
a photo of a napkin and it will create a website well that's not public yet so we'll have to see that also thank you all for watching and uh, we are really witnessing uh, history here have a great day bye